Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Microsoft Trust Center. Microsoft Trust Center is a portal, which I'm going to show you in a minute. This is a portal, so which talks about security here or compliance, privacy, and related services within the Microsoft Azure. Let's talk on this Trust Center. Trust Center really does is aggregative all of this information together in one place for us so that we can be benefited that the entire Azure platform that we are going to use for our business uh, is secure and uh, let me start with the security the thing uh, which we can you know check out here if you just go here you have the solutions and the security products that can be offered and also the partners and the resources you can check out when we go and check about the security center we will get some kind of you know white papers and the reports and the guidance and best practices and the things like that uh, gives more explanation about the, how best we can secure our physical networks or the networks or, or buildings individual services is and things like that now with the trust center as well when it comes to the privacy we will come to know uh, in fact we have a different lesson which was there on the privacy specific uh, things like you know how the government law enforcement require data uh, storing and how you can you know uh, what are the regulations and what are the government policies for example gdpr complaints or iso certifications and uh, nist complaints for the government data that we talked about the uh, more about the privacy uh, sections or in that lessons. There's an entire section that we talked about uh, our trust center uh, is this and this is going to be dedicated to compliance uh, with not only these three of them actually it's going to talk about all other uh, informations which would cover about the Microsoft uh, compiles with the national and regional and industry specific requirements how we can uh, we can also make our solutions uh, and Microsoft Azure comply with those requirements as well. For example, you started a company or you work for this company and that requires a specific HIPAA compliance. And it doesn't mean that, you know, Microsoft, uh, anyway, they are compliant with the HIPAA, but um, it doesn't mean that you, you are also by default compliant. Maybe you have to follow those standards. So that's where um, your job will come and you would be uh, implementing those policies and you would be getting more um, benefited after implementing those policies to get that HIPAA uh, certification or the compliance. When it comes for the transparency, it actually talks about uh, more of the white papers in the articles that they are going to post it in their uh, website uh, a kind of thing which would you know disclose all the various security mechanisms that they have in place and processing of our data that they have in place so that uh, we we see a full picture of how data is moving around uh, the cloud uh, or within the cloud where it is actually storing and how it is getting re uh, retrieved so how it's used and uh, we have a more control over now within the trust center as well that is a, a section dedicated uh, to our products and services uh, where we can actually see all about Microsoft cloud products and services in one place um, this provides you a convenient way to uh, pop back and forth between uh, products and services um, is that you are considering your solutions and the back to the trust center to verify that they meet the security privacy and compliance regulations that you have to adhere now there is also service uh, trust portal which um, where you can you know uh, get the more information about independent audit reports and the cloud and the risk assessment and the best practices information you can directly download that information which i'm going to show you in within this portal also so if you just go to the this is one of the report which i have downloaded for office 365 from the trust uh, service center like you know if you just you know go to the uh, service trust.microsoft.com it actually asks for me to you know sign in if i want to you know download any of the documents they would actually post it here all the different audit specific reports um, for different governance for example here SOX or ISO specific or FedRAM specific reports all these are posted here for example if I want to download uh, maybe national security framework 
uh, for Spanish data center I need to know log in once and once I logged up I should be able to get it the information directly and I should be able to actually download so looks like I have already logged in uh, within my portal so I should be able to download and see this specific report now in a minute it's just got downloaded here and if I just open up uh, they say that this is the one of the uh, third party company uh, in Spanish uh, and they got you know signed up and saying that you know this is certified for that national whatever the certificate you know we have uh, looked at for the national security frame for certificate of ENS in Spanish so that concludes uh, for the uh, service trust so uh, service trust is basically it's part of the Azure trust center and it provides a variety of content tools and other resources about your Microsoft security privacy and compliance practices and you can obtain um, copies of independent audit reports from Microsoft cloud services and risk management and security best practices and related materials uh, within this uh, dashboard or within this portal and it contains also it contains also the details about Microsoft implementation of controls and process uh, that uh, protects cloud services uh, for the customers data within the within their Azure cloud there is a section called uh, what's new you can also find out how within the uh, article I'm gonna you know uh, give you as a resource within this lecture you can check out what's new so that if any of the changes would happen within the Microsoft class center they would be you know keeping up to date on this and also for the resources uh, where you can you know have the resources like white papers videos case studies within the Microsoft uh, Trust Center cloud portal let's quickly uh, have a look on a Trust Center portal as I talked about in the beginning you have here the security specific and the privacy specific uh, and also you have the resources uh, this is where you know it talks about how and how what kind of you know actions can be taken how uh, within the uh, within this uh, privacy for example uh, this resource section was taken for the privacy so under privacy specific GDPR resources the white papers and all that information you have so you can you know follow these uh, steps too in order to you know get uh, more GDPR for your uh, maybe your services that you are hosted on your Azure so it doesn't mean that you know Microsoft is complete you may also have to follow the standards um, similarly so the base is already uh, certified but you may have to uh, follow some of the process and controllers so that it would be makes 100% compliance I hope this is useful for you I'll see you in the next lecture thank you for watching this